I don't like to improvise the titles of my poems, but when I do, I say shit like, please stop touching my hair. <laughs> people only know what they're told. So let's take a small sample of poor people, impoverished, if you will. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I actually am not comfortable with the microphone like the rest of us are in here, so I'm actually going to start over and I'm just going to get it. People only know what they're told. So let's take a small sample of poor people, impoverished, if you will. And it's pretty diverse. It's got some white people, got some black people, immigrants of Middle Eastern and Asian descent, throw in some Brazilians for some samba football, and also because slaves weren't just brought to North America. <laughs> so this ball of poor diversity, sick them on each other. Divide them through language and ideology. Divide them by portraying them only one way in all mass media. So people are always asking awful questions like, hey, where are you from? No, like, where are you from? Or, is, is, is that your hair? Is, is that your hair? <laughs> 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 I don't know why I'm just skipping forward, I'm sorry. Give them all drugs and awful ways to make it out of their gentrified and poorly funded public schools and housing. Deny them health care at every turn. Deny them school funding at every turn. Deny their existence at every turn. Monetize their struggle at every turn. Bully. Last Chance You, that documentary series on about Flint on Netflix, the NCAA tournament, which was expanded for profit, don't solve any of these problems. Create propaganda to make everybody laugh at somebody else's problems. Our cultures are national holidays. Our heritage is now a national joke. Appropriation is just the new norm, and everything that makes us unique is something to divide us. Style, culture, dialect, even in America, only in America. Regional battles for superiority play out nightly on ESPN, and it runs deep. Rivalries are formed with eight miles between them. Duke and North Carolina are not that far apart. Rivalries are formed with two mountain ranges and three time zones between them. Rivalries are formed over who is more right about the same entity. So stick Catholics against Protestants. Stick the Trojans versus the Bruins, the Yankees versus guys in Red Sox, the Angels versus whatever an A is, Baptist versus Mormon, state versus state or private versus private. Just don't be surprised when the black voices stay quiet. If it, evangelical versus fire and brimstone, Jewish versus anybody, the New England Patriots versus anybody, the new definition of patriot versus everybody, protesters versus challengers, protesters versus military paratroopers, I'm sorry, policemen, black versus anybody. Take the gay people in the sample and make sure nobody takes them in. Take the black people and remind them that house niggers were a thing and that anybody who's black but lighter than them is the enemy. Now that they all hate each other, Teach them to hate each other. Teach them that they are all different, that they'll never wash off their skin, that they'll never lose their stigma. Bring me your poor. I won't tell you the formula for profit. Nah, no, I'll tell you the truth. And there is no stigma. These differences are just a game. And the only, re only way to win a game like this is to sit at the table and refuse to play. Say that shit.